So this is my office. Anyone who's been watching this channel for a while knows that to be true. That's my dog, Molly. She's basically in the office at all times because she has to be near me 24 hours a day. It's January 1st, everyone has the day off, but tomorrow the team will come back and we will begin 2019. And that is super, super exciting to me for a couple of reasons. First off, I love when a new year starts because it's a way that you kind of sit down, you kind of breathe a, a, a deep sigh, that <sighs> fresh start new things happening. What did we do good in 2018? What did the year look like in terms of financial? Where can we improve? Where can we do all those kind of things? And really that's all internally what I talk to myself about because as the boss, I don't really have a lot of managers or people that obviously I talk with a lot about those things, but I really like to collaborate with my team. What I'm also really excited for is starting tomorrow, I have a brand new employee coming on that is working full time for me as my assistant. And a lot of you watching this channel may be like, whoa, you have an assistant already? Like that's, isn't that a little bit too aggressive? How much is really going on? There are so many things happening in my life simultaneously between my business and YouTube and wedding film school and so many things that over the course of time really add up. And what happens is by the end of a week, I look at my time and realize that 60% of my time is done doing admin stuff and done doing things that I feel like I could obviously put someone in position to do those things. And so I've made it kind of a point since I started my business to not worry about how much money goes in my pocket right this second and put that money into hiring more and more people that would allow me to get more work done more efficiently so that we can take on more work overall. We had an awesome year of growth at 4LC Studios, almost 85% growth in revenue from the year before. So that's fantastic. But the way that I've always been building my company and my mindset has been continue to put the money that we're making into more people so we can continue to do high quality work and even better than we did and more efficiently. Side note, if you keep seeing the light change every two seconds, it's because the clouds are moving 100 miles a minute apparently and uh, the sun goes in and out and in and out and in and out. It drives me nuts in the edit when I see that happen, but there's nothing I can do about it. But anyway, over the last six months especially, I've seen so much growth happen in so many different places and I'm constantly realizing that I wanna put things in place now that I'm desperately gonna need when times are even busier because it's really hard to train people and to put certain things in place when you're so busy that you don't have time to train. So my thought process was take some money out of my pocket, which I'm totally fine with, hire an assistant that I can begin to really, really train hard over these next six to 12 months and put that person in a position to do what I really need them to do when times are even busier than they will be now. It's already a super busy season. Tons of new things are happening, new clients, new opportunities, so many different things. And I love being able to have more and more people to bounce ideas off of and conversation off of and talk about what things they think that we could do better, that I could do better. Naturally, when a new year hits, it's the question that I get asked a lot and the question that we throw around to friends and family that we know are like, what are your goals for 2019? Like, what are you looking to do differently? See, that's always an interesting question to me because the way that my brain works is it's my goal to produce the best work possible, to have the best customer service possible, to create the most content I can for my YouTube channel and for my personal brand and to just do everything at the highest level possible but I don't necessarily set goals of, I want to get this type of revenue or this type of YouTube base or whatever it is. I don't really set goals like that because I feel like if I do all those things and I always do those things, which is try my absolute best, work the hardest that I possibly can, all I can really do is let the results happen based on the work that I put into it. If I were to set these insane goals and not reach them, but know that I worked the absolute hardest that I could and I still saw growth, well, it wouldn't be a disappointment to me to say I didn't reach a goal. But instead of letting myself down with certain goals, I'd rather just say, here's my goal. I'm gonna work as hard as I can and continue to produce the best type of stuff that I can on all levels. And that's success to me. Success to me is just doing what you love and working as hard as you can to make it grow. And I feel like when you do those things, 
that you do grow and you do have success. But measuring success based on a certain number of subscribers on a YouTube channel or revenue in a business or whatever measure you wanna have can sometimes not give you an accurate representation of like what success actually is. Success isn't a lot of money, success isn't a lot of subscribers, success isn't any of those things, but a lot of us when we have businesses or YouTube channels, whatever it is, we look at that as like the success point. We look at what we think is a successful YouTuber and say to ourselves, the successful YouTuber has a million subscribers or the successful businessman has a million dollars in revenue. Well, they might not necessarily think that's success either. And who's to say that that money or that subscriber base is success? To me, you're successful in your life if you are doing what you love, period. If you're making $25,000 a year and you're paying all your bills and you love life, then you're extremely successful. If you're making $3 million a year and you still love what you do and you go to work every day loving what you do, then you're extremely successful. If you have a YouTube channel of 150 subscribers but you cannot wait to hit upload the next time you do it, then you're having success in the channel. If you're working for somebody else and you're not the boss but you love working for that person and you love what you get to do every single day, then you're successful. Success isn't a number. Success isn't like a definition. Everyone's definition of success is different and you have to determine what is successful to you because when you determine what success is to you it'll really change your mindset to how you work and how you look at things in general of course I want my business to grow or I wouldn't be in business in the first place but at the end of the day I love what I do and if I pay all my bills and I can also help other people pay bills by hiring them and I'm loving what I do every single day well I'm already successful if I make way more money, I'm not gonna be any happier. I'm not gonna be any more successful. I'm just gonna have more money. And I really am trying as hard as I can to always remember that that is not the definition of success. The honest truth is, you've heard it said a million times, money doesn't buy you happiness. And neither does success. Success is actually being happy. I don't ever want you to get the impression that if you ever hear me talking about that you need to work harder, work more hours, or you need to go after what you want, that I'm telling you that you have to work 100 hours or 200 hours a week or there's a certain amount of success that you need to have. I just feel like so many people don't realize what success is. And so many people don't realize that, yes, A, if you really want to build a business, it takes a ton of hard work to make it happen but it only takes as much hard work as you wanna put into it. And because I love what I do, it makes me want to work more, want to work harder, but I know that there has to be a balance on both sides of things to be able to just balance life in general. So do not let someone tell you that when you work a certain amount of hours and make a certain amount of money, then you're successful because I promise you, those same people aren't happy in life whatsoever. They may have a lot of money, but money doesn't buy you happiness. We've heard that said a million times. A smile and being able to wake up every single day knowing that you get to do what you love, that is success. Don't ever forget that when you're thinking about your goals.